Hey guys, B8KD here. Welcome to another series. You all know how I like my series, and you may be asking right now, what is this new series, B8KD? Well, this is a Then We Fight series. Um, I am going to go over the rules and how this works. It's going to be a very fun series. Um, and our first contender in this series will be against the legendary Sheev. So be sure to click on his link in the description. He makes some great podcasts. He goes out there and slaps some major cheeks in some battleships and some cruisers, you name it. Um, he makes some pretty good PvP videos. So let's go ahead and get right into the series and the rules. Now in this series, we are going to get um, one hour, exactly one hour, to farm a specific system for modules um, to upgrade your ship. We are going to be starting with uh, the absolute most garbage modules you can get, the civilian grade. Um, I'll show you the build and what ship we are going to be using in just a second. Now it's going to be one hour to farm modules in Kaldari space because we will be in a Cal Kaldari um, Caracal Navy issue. So of course we want to get uh, Kaldari modules. To then power that ship. Um, we are both going to be recording our sides of the story, so um, if you want to see his side, be sure to click his link for his video in the description, and you can uh, watch how he was able to strategically get modules or what his uh, plan was, to say the least. Um, I will be going over my plan shortly, but um, we are going to be farming modules. We can either get them from pirates, which I don't expect to kill any pirates, or from the rats inside the space um, that were allotted. We are not allowed to use any rigs unless we can complete a scout or inquisitor anomaly. Now, if you complete an Inquisitor Anomaly, the blueprint can immediately be converted in Jita for the actual rig itself. So it pretty much just unlocks that rig for you. But let's say you get one CCC rig that correlates to one CCC rig in Jita. So you can't get three off of that. Same thing with drones and other modules. Any sort of blueprints you get from the Scout or the Inquisitors um, can be converted. Now, disruptors are not required uh, for the fight, um, which we are going to be fighting at the end of the one hour for the King of the Castle. That is why it's called a Then We Fight series. Um, so any mid-slots, you probably want to strategically get Nosferatu's, Newt's, Web of Fires, but no disruptors because it will be to the death. Now you can get a scram if you so please, if you want to shut the person's micro warp drive off, but um, who knows how uh, Sheev is gonna build his ship and he has no clue how I'm gonna build mine. Now if we get killed by a pirate, um, we have to insurance our ship in the closest station within that one hour. Now if we dropped any modules and the pirate looted them, um, we cannot get those modules back. You cannot replace them, so you're going to have to start from scratch. Or you can go try to recover what you can if they left your modules on the ground. Once the one hour is done of farming, um, we are going to get together for a live chat. A little bit of crap talk, we're going to share our fits, and then we're going to go for our battle to see who wins. Now, hopefully that was enough information. I might put some more information before or after this or in between to kind of uh, get the grasp of things. But let's go ahead and switch our screen over now. We are in our trusty T6 Caracal Navy issue. Um, our fittings are exactly the same where we are starting off. And our skills are very closely related. We are all about 554 and all cruiser and missile related skills, so it's going to be a pretty darn fair fight. We get five civilian medium missile launchers just to start us off with a whopping 114 DPS, a civilian stasis web of fire, a Mark III small Nosferatu, so that's definitely something we want to upgrade, a civilian acolyte. 
two civilian small shield boosters, a small civilian afterburner, which we are going to be sl going slower than crap, and just to not die, hopefully, we got a Mark I reactive shield here. Um, of course, no rigs unless we get those slots. Um, and our Kaldari space, let's go ahead and pull it up, which is the only area we're able to farm. Let's go ahead and do that so you guys can kind of see on the map here all of the blue space so it's all of this area all the way from black rise lone trek the citadel and the forge so these are the only areas we can farm there will be no pre-scouting so if we so choose just for an example if we don't want to go straight into ratting anomalies we can go straight to warping through systems and hopefully finding an Inquisitor or a Scout Anomaly right off the bat. But your one hour is uh, very short, to say the least, especially with these crappy modules. So if you want to spend time warping around looking for an Inquisitor, um, so be it. That's your plan. Now my plan, what I'm planning to do, is I found a nice little nook here. Um, I did not scout any of the systems nearby. I chose a random point, which is going to be this tier 6 system. I'm going to go try to kill a medium anomaly to get some medium modules. And then I'm going to slowly start moving to harder space if I can hopefully upgrade some of my modules. All the way over to the point 4 system, which I might head into a small anomaly. But... 100% um, I need to find a T5 system and I need to get T5 medium modules on the ship. Um, I'm not too worried about my mid slots. I need more DPS and I need uh, faster speeds and more tank for me to even compete. So that was a mouthful on our rules and of course in the next episodes coming um, there will be a shorter description but you have to get the full grasp of what we're doing, how we're doing it. And we're going to go from there. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put the timer on the screen in just a second. And we'll go ahead and start our live feed. And we'll get uh, farming some modules. Hopefully my plan works where I can slowly uh, work my way up in that hour. Um, if you guys have better tips, definitely leave that in the comment. What you think I should have done at the start or how you would start. Um, it will make a very good conversation for us and will get me thinking about the next episodes for a, a better game plan. Alright, let's get right into the video. Well, this is going to be the start of the one hour. I changed my mind on my game plan. Um, I'm going to start in a um, end pocket down here, a... 0.01. I couldn't find any T6 systems, so a T5 will just have to do. We got a couple mediums and larges to work on. Um, I'm hoping that these will give me a pretty good yield on modules. Another thing that I thought about, which isn't quite um, in the rule book yet, but I was thinking about doing an encounter in this area. Um, probably not an expert. Probably a T8 to T9 might be doable. If we refresh, we do have something uh, 8 jumps away. Darn. We got 30 minutes, so we can refresh that and we can try again. But unfortunately, we got pretty unlucky. These are um, 8 jumps away, and I don't really want to waste my time. But we're going to go ahead and start the timer now, and we're going to get ratting and hopefully get some good modules. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to show the full one hour. I'm probably going to chop it up into just the highlights. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start the one hour timer. And let's, uh, let's go ahead and just go balls deep into the tier 5 medium. My fit is absolute garbage. 114 DPS, all civilians. So uh, let's get right into it. Activate our pretty crappy uh, reactive hardener there. We'll just set that to zero. Oh my gosh, the civilian web is six kilometers. Oh, that's awful. I definitely need a new web. We 
got three caracals, that's a good sign. what we're looking for there we go that's gonna make ratting a little bit easier all right got another wreck come on whoo a missile guidance that's pretty good let's go see if we can just take the heron out before dying That's great. I chose a place without a station. Technically, we weren't able to scout um, our areas. I just kind of chose a place um, on the map and warped here. Um, I couldn't check for scouts or inquisitors on the way. I have to physically set my warp point and uh, just start from there. So I kind of went into this a little bit blind. I could have done the next system over if I had a station or vice versa. Another chance and another debris. Ooh, another debris. Come on, just give me one medium missile upgrade. That's all I'm looking for. Down to 43 minutes. We we've gotten that. Let's see what. What do we have? Guidance, adaptive, and small missile so far in 17 minutes. Getting a little bit worried here. Here we go. Frigate wreck though. Small torpedo and vulnerability shield. I'll pop two of those on. I'll do two red shields. I'll take it. anything would drop other than shields I'd be happy Ooh, a torpedo oh that's huge I'm gonna go refit now whoo yes Medium torpedo, 38 DPS. That is going to be a fucking banger. Did I warp? I think I'm sitting here just about to die. Like an idiot. Lose my torpedo right away. Warp drive active. Alright, let's go slap this baby on. This is going to make it so much easier to rat. Just having that one torpedo on there. Alright. What are we going to get? One more wreck. Woohoo, yes! Medium shield booster. Woo! I think I'm set. Hot dog. Ooh, do I want to equip it now? No, I want to keep going. I want to kill at least uh, one or two more, and then I'll go to the station. Oh, man, that medium shield booster is absolutely a game changer. Woof! There we go. One more wreck. Oh, no, don't kill the wreck. Ooh, medium rapid. I didn't just blow it up, did I? Yes! Ooh, baby, that's gonna be huge, too! Yes! Sheev, you're going down, my friend! Should be it. Oh, I'm on that 
Ooh, two Mark V missiles. Hoo -hoo -hoo. I just upgraded every single one of my missiles, pretty much. Oh, damn. I don't think these guys are going to have anything, but let's, uh... Let's go kill him real quick and just make sure. Yeah, I don't think these guys have anything I want, but I want the chance to spawn. Ah, there's no way. It took me uh, 45 minutes to do one medium anomaly. There's no way. There's no way I could do an Inquisitor or a Scout. just wasting my time I should probably just go yep. let's go get our new modules and I think I'll head into a small anomaly just to just to try to snag one more missile uh, web a NOS I think at this point all I really need is a better NOS for ought to and a better prop I'm not even sure if the props drop. Do I even want to run a prop during the final fight? What do you guys think? Comment below uh, if you think I should have taken my prop off and done like another hardener or left it on for that added speed tank. I think I might remove it. I think I'm going to do a reactive hardener that Mark V I got. Get. Ooh, my gosh. Woo -hoo -hoo. Sheev, you are toast, my friend. Let's get out of here. A guidance disruptor. Oh, that's just like the cherry to my day. Well, let's go pop it on. We got nine minutes left. We should be able to head into the large anomaly and hopefully get a couple more uh, Caracal kills. Ooh, yes. Ooh, that's it. I think that's my uh, winning ticket right there. We definitely don't want communists to kill us. We might be just a passer through her. seconds darn that is the last kill let's go ahead and turn off our modules that is the one hour complete let's loot our last oops our last one And a debris. Let's go ahead and dock up. I feel pretty confident to be honest. I'm going to go over my game plan in just a minute here. Um, I think I got some pretty good modules in the hour. I think I did a lot better than Sheev did. Um, we're going to have to um, fit accordingly. But I think the big ticket item is my guidance disruptor. Um, this is going to turn down his damage, and I'm going to have all-out tank. So I think I'm going to be able to out-tank him. Um, he, sure, he, he sure has it <laughs> in for me. Alright. So let's go over my final build. I am going to take out this for another torpedo. I want to hopefully get right up into his face where I can brawl with him. I can get my civilian web on him, which will apply more damage with my torpedoes. But I have two Mark V torpedoes, two Mark V medium missile launchers, which is huge, a Mark V medium rapid missile launcher, um, two Mark V red and vulnerability shields, a Mark V medium shield booster. I did not get any props, so I'm stuck with my civilian afterburner, civilian drone, 
a Mark V missile disruptor and a Nosferatu. Um, I think what I'm gonna do though is take off my civilian afterburner because it doesn't do too much for me at all and I think I don't think I want the guidance disruptor but I'm gonna do this so I'm gonna do a reactive two invulnerability shields and my booster and I think I'm gonna be able to out tank him I have a two minute cap it says so I'm probably gonna cap myself out but Undocking. Uh, that's the best we got let's go ahead and just pop all of our shields see what kind of tank we're looking at 310 DPS 24k EHP plus it's going to uh, kind of adjust itself a little bit to um, with the hardener on there um, actually probably won't because <laughs> Who knows? Who knows how those things actually work? But like I said, I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, let's go ahead and get with Sheev now on Discord, and we're gonna share our fits, and then we fight. Well, we reached the end of the one hour. Um, now it is time for the then we fight part of this episode. Um, we are going to be fighting Sheev, the legendary Sheev, for the uh, King of the Hill here. Um, I don't think he's going to beat me. I think I got a very good setup. Um, we're just going to have to see what he got in the end. I'm going to get him on Discord here, and we're going to start about 30 kilometers out or something, and then we will uh, fight, fight to the death. So um, definitely let me know in the comments who you are rooting to win. Now, do not watch the fight until you comment below saying uh, I want Baked or I want Sheev to win. Um, but yeah, let's get him on Discord and see how comfortable he's feeling. Welcome, Sheev, to a Then We Fight series. Um, we both did our one hour, and I know I'm feeling pretty confident with my build. How confident are you feeling, my friend? Yeah, I, I am very confident in myself, but this ship is very trash. <laughs> so we see. Yeah. I like how how the end is going to be brutal, but right now our ships are kissing. I know. <laughs> well, touch the tips before we uh, duke it out. Of course, like a bump. So what did you get? How did you do your um, hour? I did extremely well. Um... I kind of got a little bit of a trial run at first, but I did my full hour just completely farming medium and small anomalies in tier 5 systems, and they were dropping just buttloads of great modules to choose from. Oh, alright, alright. What did uh, what did you end up doing? Yeah, I got, I got some gear, uh, but nothing fancy. This is a very weird fit that I have. Um, but I did get two Nosses, but then I died and one of them got lost. So I <laughs> ended up with one <laughs> as we started, but I don't think it's a, hold on. No, it's a small one. So that's pretty good. It's not a civilian one. Oh, that's yeah, better. it's not good. Well, yeah. uh, what, what do you think you would have done differently if you had another hour to do this? Well, I think... Since I died at the end, I died at like 52 minutes. Um, I had no, no, like no pirates, no one was chasing me. So I, I was pretty lucky. It was just that I had very, very bad drop. So yeah, just another hour would have been cool. Maybe you could get like, I could get something even better. <laughs> yeah, I felt the same way. Just a little bit longer and I could have been fully stacked. Yeah. Well, um, before we Amazing. get started, we're going to share our fits, but be sure to look in the comment box uh, or the description of my video for Sheev's side of the video. You can see most of his one hour and how well he did, kind of like his side. Um, I'm also going to be posting my one hour uh, completely unedited, if anybody's interested to watch that, but this video will be kind of a uh, highlights and... Uh, then we fight at the end. So, Sheev, 
Uh, is there anything else you want to say before we uh, fight? Yeah, I would just say that I will, of course, link your video here too. And uh, this is probably my highlighted video too. Uh, but I don't, I don't think I will post like the whole video. I would probably just make a speed up. I don't know, and do some cutting. I don't know. We we'll see. But yeah, I just, I just wish, wish myself luck because this is gonna be bad. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, we go out to twenty. Yeah. Right. We're going to start at 20 cool. kilometers for our death match. There will be no warping. Ooh. This will be completely to the death. And the victor gets all of the modules. Oh, yes. I'm going to be rich. Pretty juicy. Yep. <laughs> all right. Do you have an afterburner? What? Oh, no, you don't. So we should probably share our fits real quick. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, okay, okay. Like, yeah, I'm ready. Uh, one second. How okay. do I share it? I haven't even saved it. One second. You're going to be scared of my fit when I show you. <laughs> yep. I will post it in fleet. Alright, me too. Let's see it. Yep. Oh, yep. That is... Oh my I gosh. I need to do some... Oh! <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is going to be epic. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be great. You're farming ah. <laughs> tier 3 systems. <laughs> yep, that was the best I could. It was like the closest one too. You're going down, It's gonna be friend. fine. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, you think so, right? Let's do it! Let's All do right. it. Let's lock on yeah. to each other in uh, 3, 2, 1, let's go! Lock. Oh, shit. Yes, of course. So the one thing you have up on me is I have no shield skills, so you might cap me out. Oh, that could be cool. All right, send one I would out. take that. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, I got you webbed. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, it's fine. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be hilarious. Oh my god. Ooh. Let me see how this goes. Oh, I'm shredding you. <laughs> No, I haven't even started repairing yet. You better start yeah, going yeah. quick. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Where's the overheat? Oh, damn it. Well, you, you're you pretty much going down on, boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 maybe if I do this, I have to, I have to do something. I can't just sit and watch. I have to. I mean, I can't. I can't really speed tank or anything, but yeah, I don't think it matters where I'm going. Cap's doing pretty good. I'm about 65%. So hopefully you don't cap me out. Yeah, I don't think I can cap you out with a NOS, right? Because when you have less cap than me, then I don't NOS as good. So I don't think that would be an issue for you. Draining your cap. I'm pumping now. Yep. Woo, down to armor. Come on, baby. Come <laughs> on, missiles. <laughs> Will this even help? Will this even help? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, no. I have to do something. Oh shit. What? What is going on? You got out of my web range. 14 kilometers? No. Get back in here. My torpedoes no, no, no. won't hit. <laughs> no, no, no. Stay away from me. <laughs> I'm coming back. I'm going to get you in my web no. again. No, no, no. Don't. Oh no. Stay away. <laughs> Uh, we're so slow, man. <laughs> How can you be faster than me? 414 km a second. Oh no, my drone! Yeah! I had to do something, man. I'm, oh, get, gonna, I'm gonna get you. No, 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 no. Come Damn, to How are you faster than me? <laughs> How is that even possible? I don't know. Maybe just, my cruiser is going better. Just keep going, man! <laughs> get my web on you. No, no, no. 
You have a longer wave than I do, right? Yeah. 406. Damn, I'm slow. Oh no, my web's only 6 kilometers. Yep, yep, yep. How's your cap, man? Uh, 30%. 25. Oh, here we go. Down the hole. Yeah, I'm hole tanked, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm doing actually very good against, like, you have so much bad stuff in that I'm just completely tanked to the tooth. Damn! Yep. Yeah, this is... This does, this does not look good. This is my strategy to outlast you. Yeah, that was a good idea. Since the only thing that I got was boosters. If only I had a cap battery, that would be great. I know, I'm capped out. No, you're not capped out. You're shooting me. God Ooh, damn it! Right when I hit zero cap. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Good yeah. fight, my friend. Yeah, good fight. Man, I think I actually could have lived for a little bit longer if I would have been a little bit more reckless with my shield boosting. But yeah, that was a nice fight. <laughs> ah, you won, man. Yeah. You get all my modules. All right, let's see what kind of juicy loot we got. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, you had a <laughs> Sancha debris in you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had. What? I had, actually. <laughs> <laughs> what was a Sancha Debris that's a, doing in there? 40 that's a mil? Bonus. That's a bonus. <laughs> oh my that's gosh. what you got for winning. <laughs> Alright, let's see the kill mail. Hell yeah. How much was that worth? 69 see, yeah. mil. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Where'd you get that Sancha Debris from? <laughs> <laughs> I picked it up in in uh, in Gita before oh. we went. I was like, "You are gonna kill me, so I need to have something in my loot for you." <laughs> and that was the only thing I could think about. Uh, that's great. Well, maybe I should have. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna do it. That's that's uh... gonna do it. Woo! Thank you so much. This was a great opportunity. It was very fun. We have to do it with like real ships next time. Yeah, we'll do a something, maybe a battle cruiser. Definitely let me know in the comments if you guys want me to fight Sheev again for some redemption in a later episode. Um, but I think that's going to do it for our uh, Then We Fight episode number one. Thank and you so much for having me. Not a problem, Sheev. Thanks for joining. I'm glad I got to fight you first. I was pretty scared in the beginning, but <laughs> once I saw your fit, I, uh, I knew yeah. it was game over. <laughs> You got cocky. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, Have a good so one, Chief.